Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are making hot honey. Hot honey is a beautiful combination of sweet and heat. And it's actually really popular today. There's a number of brands that are out there that are really good and I definitely love them. But making it homemade is very easy and you can actually spice it up as much or as little as you want to. So uh, let me show you how to make it. The first way to make hot honey is with chili flakes or dried pods. So here I have my pot set up and I've got about a cup of honey or a saucepan works. All right, honey's added. And I have three tablespoons of chili flakes. I'm gonna be using a uh, gochugaru, which is a Korean chili flake, along with some dried pods from my garden from last year I dehydrated. You can use less than this, maybe a tablespoon, but I'm using three because I like it extra hot. And we're gonna heat this up. We just wanna warm it through. You don't wanna bring it to a boil or that can really affect the integrity of the honey but really I just want to heat it through for about a minute or two to infuse the honey with the chili flavor. All right, this is nicely warmed through and you can see how much it's loosened up. So let's go ahead and take it off heat. So the last up here is to add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar into the mix. Just kind of swirl it through. And vinegar is optional, but I like the flavor, a little tang addition. And at this point you can strain or not strain. Straining will remove a little bit of that heat because we're infusing it here, but I like to leave it flaky when I'm using chili flakes. And we'll just set it into a jar, like so. Perfect fill. Ooh, look at that. All right, let's make it the other way. The other way I like to make hot honey is with fresh peppers. Here I have some sliced habanero pepper and also Fresno pepper, though you can use other peppers for this, really is to a heat preference of your own. So once again, get your pot set up and about a cup of honey in the pot or saucepan. And I'll go ahead and add our chopped chilies. Then we'll heat it through. And again, you don't wanna boil the honey, you just wanna infuse the honey with the heat and flavor of the chilies. So we're only gonna heat it through for about a minute or two. All right, this is nice and heated through. I've got our infusion going. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove from heat. All right, set this down here. And like before, we'll swirl in one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar for the flavor, a little tanginess. And we'll get this over to a jar. And you can do a longer infusion of the chilies if you want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and move this over. So with fresh chilies, you really wanna strain out the fresh pods because they are perishable. Like so. Oop, making a mess. But do not throw away those chilies. So definitely save these peppers because these are candied peppers or honeyed peppers, a lot like cowboy candy or candied jalapenos. Uh, they're great for desserts, topping uh, cupcakes and such, or garnishing drinks. Um, and are really just kind of snacking on, so uh, definitely yummy. There are so many ways that you can use hot honey. It's delicious. I mean, it's fantastic on fried chicken, uh, chicken and waffles. Um, I love it on chicken wings. It's just a beautiful glaze. You wouldn't believe how awesome it is on pizza. Yum, pepperoni, jalapeno pizza. <sighs> yummy. Um, it's great biscuits, uh, cornbread. Uh, it's even great with cocktails, you know, use it as part of your sweetener or instead of a simple syrup. Boom, hot honey. Oh, I also love it as a glaze for a holiday ham. Kind of adds a little spice to that, you know, Christmas or Easter ham, whatever holiday you celebrate. Yes, make it nice and spicy. So here we have hot honey two different ways, my friends. You can see the strained versus the unstrained, fresh pods versus dried pods. Um, definitely consistency difference, obviously. Let's see that here. I mix that up and get from the bottom and oh yeah, look at that. Oh, deliciousness. I don't know, which one do you guys want first? Which do you prefer? All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm. I like that beautiful sweetness, nice residual heat. It's gonna keep getting a little bit spicier. Mmm, I love it. Hot honey, my friends. That's uh, how I love to make hot honey, two different ways. I'd love to hear in the comments below how you'd like to make yours uh, and also how you're gonna use it and uh, what you think of the recipes. So, uh, hey, if you need some more awesome recipes, I got some right here, boom and boom, check them out. 
And uh, I do hope to see you in the kitchen next time. Mike from Chili Pepper Madness. Bye.